I think we know based on disclosures, based on leaks, that the government, the FBI is engaging in certain types of hacking, right? I think one of the concerning things that, from my perspective, is that we have no idea what they're doing. You know, I have yet to see, you know, a public policy that lays out, you know, here are the standards we apply for hacking. Here's how we consider the effect on third parties. Here's how we assess whether hacking is appropriate or not. And I think it is very concerning that we sort of, it seems like there are parts of the government that are marching forward with hacking um, when we haven't had the robust public debate that that requires. I mean, you can imagine the effects that could, you know, result from a government hacking operation. You know, they're inserting malware on one computer that's, you know, connected to a network that involves a hospital, involves medical professionals, involves everyday people. And because of that, we've all had, you know, we all have sort of an, an effect or we all have sort of a, you know, a more porous product or a product that doesn't work. Um, you can imagine, you know, other scenarios where, you know, hacking for one piece of information exposes all other types of information because there's, it's not targeted enough. Um, and I don't think that this is a decision that should be left up to individual agencies to make under sort of a secret cloak. It's a conversation that should be debated in public. It's a conversation that should be debated in Congress. And if after all of that debate, there's a decision that there are certain types of hacking we want to allow, it should be pursuant to a law Congress passes, not a procedural rule change, not an administrative procedure. Um, it should be something that is written in the law so the public knows. 